Hi there, everybody. This is Jennifer, and I am part of the Nye House Education staff, and we are from Nye House Education Center. If you don't know anything about Nye House Education Center, well, our mission is that we believe that literary success for all. Today, we're going to discuss another alphabet game. That's right. So we're going to give you some strategies and some games that you can play with your kids as we are all spending a lot of quality time together. So the game we're going to play today is another game from Reading Readiness. And Reading Readiness is an online course if you're interested. So this is from the Alphabet tab and another fun game. I would like for you to warm up. I had talked about this before on um, with your touch and name A, B, C strip. Again, touch and name. It gets the brain warmed up for our students. In addition to, if you want to find where that touch and name strip is, you can find it right here at nighthouse.org backslash educators backslash consumables. Scroll to the very bottom and that's where you'll find that information on word webs and charts. So parents, if you're at home right now, you are also an educator. So welcome to the club. So the game that we would play is called Closer to the Z. And this is how we play it. Again, I have my 3D letters. I have it in a dark bag. And I'm gonna randomly pull out a letter. And then my, usually I just do, this is a two person game. Then a student will pull out a letter. We don't look at the letters and then we show them. So I picked a T, my student picked a G. What we're gonna do now is we have to find out which letter is closest to the Z. I picked a T and I'm gonna use my touch and name strip. I'm gonna put it right on there. I don't know if you can really see that, but I put it right on there, right under my T because students have a hard time finding where their letters are in the alphabet. And then I also have the letter G. So I have the student put down their G as well. Now we're both gonna look at it and we're gonna figure out which one is closer because the Z is in the end of the alphabet and your students might not have any kind of idea what that means and I can use it right there. I can point to them and say, hey, look, the Z is right there. T is definitely closer to Z than G. So then I'm gonna want the winner to say, I win because T is closer to Z than G. And because I win, I randomly pick the letters, I get to take both letters with me. Those are mine. You go back and forth till all the letters are gone and whoever has the most wins. I've had a lot of success with this game and I think that you will too. So go ahead and give it a try. Um, come back and find us at nighthouse.org and look for quick tips. Have a great day.